Okay. Whoa. What did you get? I got 12. Exactly? I got 12 exactly. <laughs> no. no, it's 11.99. No, it's, it's, no. It started at 12. Record 12. Record 12. Record 12. 12. Record 12. Record 12. That's what it said at it first. Okay? All right, it's 12. So then we got 8 milliliters of the iron chloride. And 20 milliliters. And added water to get to the 20 milliliter but it's not going to dissolve, so we have to heat it up. Yes. No, you can use this. The ice cold is going to be yeah. at the end. Oh, we need to be recording all this in our journal. Most definitely. So the, <laughs> so the title is here. obviously the title on the sheet. So what do you think the purpose is? She has a lab notebook. Yeah, I do. From bio. From bio. Make your life easier. Okay. See to them. synthesize and purify a sample of potassium trisoxalate of ferry 3 trihydrate. That's your purpose. Okay. okay. The title, I mean, so the purpose is almost always going to be just the opposite of the title. But now go ahead, before you start writing all that in there, just go ahead and start heating it up so we can get going. Okay. You might want to hook the gas line <laughs> up to the burn. Okay. Uh, all right, we've got to get that off of there. Is it this side? It doesn't matter. Okay, it, well, remember how there's an arrow right there. Slide that up into the arrow. Uh, I can't see it here. I'm trying to, we don't want the cold water. You do not there. I and mean, that just knocks it off. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> how deep into yeah, it? That's fine. Just that's don't okay. knock over your eight milliliters. Let's put that over there. Yeah, and then adjust your, you know, everything to that accommodate the hose. Who's ever watching this video? I'm sorry, I'm walking around not paying attention, so you're gonna get seasick. All right, Usman, again. You have to use this. Slide it down at that arrow, and then that pushes it right off. There. Okay, and then there's there's strikers around, so just set that on there, and then light. And then you're gonna to want to stir continuously using a stirring rod, and there's stirring rods in the back, in that white little plastic thing. Right there, that purple thing in front of you. Oh, I was thinking about these. <laughs> these are boring. <laughs> Do I turn this one on first? No. Or that one? That's at this valve right here. Turn that on. And then, I just go left. Okay. That should already be open, so okay. just try and light it, see what happens. Just, just strike it a bunch of times. That must be the one that doesn't work. Okay, now we're not going to let it boil. Okay, so use it, put a thermometer in there and let it just, you can let the thermometer just sit. Yes, in that. It will not fall over. Okay, and then you're going to need to stir. That one doesn't work. Use the red one. Yeah, no, that one doesn't work. Okay. Keep starting. Just start. It's right over here in the. If it gets to about eighty degrees, just turn the heat off. We may have to add just a tad bit more water to get it dissolved. We'll see. Now 
we should have aprons on. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, I technically need glasses still. Oh, just drive a pair. Are they clean? Yeah, well, I don't know if they're clean, but you can wash. Okay. You can wash them and make them clean. Yeah. Ooh, I'm at seventy. Uh -huh. That's fine. Well, or just get we get more yellow tape. There's yellow tape right inside the door. Right there. Oh, really? I thought it was cold. Okay, well turn your heat off then. Just turn the gas yes, off right there. And just keep stirring. Oh, stir, 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 because you're actually boiling. And then, why do I pour in the eight milk? You want to want this all dissolved. Oh, yeah. Okay. So now it's kind of sticking up around the sides. Okay. See how it's kind of sticking up around the side? Yeah. Okay, and it not want to really dissolve, so I'm just going to add just a little bit more water. Okay. Okay, because the 20 milliliters isn't necessarily 20 milliliters based upon the beaker. The beaker is the least accurate way to measure volume. Okay, now it looks like it's pretty much dissolved, isn't it? Mostly, just a little bit left. Okay, just keep stirring and get that last little bit, and then you can add in, okay? Hampton, I don't know when to add more. I feel like yeah. I should add some okay. more. Stir, stir, stir. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's important. Yeah, so she's done. So now she's going to pour in her eight milliliters. <gasps> <gasps> I feel like so okay. it's a magician. Now let's stir it. Crazy scientist. Yeah, okay. Now see how you have a little bit of solid on the end of your stirring rod? Most of it came off as you, as you did that. So. Uh -oh. Okay. So it's fully dissolved. Alright. Green. Correct. Yes. So now we're going to pour it in. Ooh. Whoa. Okay. Do I try to get it all? Yeah, you do. You just don't want to try to get it all out just to flush it out. Okay, yeah, you do. Yeah. So this one it's all up on the sides. Yeah. Okay. Water doesn't really participate in the reaction at all. Trying to get it to dissolve. Yep. Um, we, it should result in the next we cool it in a nice bath. Yeah, in your ice bath's right there. So we just put it in there? Yep, and if it's super hot, use those hot hands. No, it's not dissolved yet, so you might need to reheat it up. I don't know what temperature you're at. Let me, uh... Anyway. Okay. So, we're going to then take it carefully and just dig a hole right here. That's a nice hole. Thank you. too gentle. <laughs> and then put it. Mad at it. So we move this? Yeah, uh, well, we can. We can go down ice bath. To... Or you oh, can use the ice bath back there. Okay, too. can I have hot hands? Yes, you can. Thank have you. Hot hands. And now I record all my stuff. Yes, now you can do everything. You've got 15 minutes and you can read the article on recrystallization. 15 minute now ice and so I'm going to stop the video and then I'll do another part once we do the, the next one.